All right, it's 1.30 in the morning and I need to explain this to people. So the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, is it worth it? Is it worth the time? Let me tell you something right now. I was presently shocked and surprised at how difficult that program actually is. It's not an easy, trivial thing. So I seen some YouTube videos where when I was going through, I was looking for Google Cloud certification related info and I seen this course for Google IT support professional. I said, yeah, well, let me let me go through it. And coming from a career as a combat medic in the Navy and having moved over into IT in 2007, you just jumped straight in, started working for Act for Healthcare, and then went from there doing IT support. And you kind of just learn as time goes on, but you never really get a chance to focus on the basics. And you kind of just grow up in IT. Well, let me tell you something. And let me be very clear to anyone that is looking at this program. It will give you all of the fundamentals and the basics that you need. Did I need to take the tests and go through a lot of the courses in order to get the certificate? Was it going to help my career? Every little thing you do in IT can help you. If anyone tells you, you don't need that, just go get a certification. Number one, they don't understand the program. Number two, they didn't sit down and actually take the program and go through the learning process of it. It, it amazes me sometimes how people can arrogantly talk about something and they haven't even participated in it or taken the time to actually learn what it actually is about or participated in the course. You got a few different YouTube videos and there was even one video of one guy saying, oh, don't take that. Go get a certification. Certification is what's most important. Let me tell you something. This is why this program actually is, is really, really good. Now, I work in cloud right now. And at the time that I took this course, which is um, now October uh, 21st of 2020, a little bit tired, so bear with me. When I took the course, when I started, what, two months ago, I thought I was going to rip through it in about two weeks. <laughs> no way. The course is actually challenging and the tests are not easy. So if you actually sit down and go through every single one of the courses, if you go through every single one of the classes, every single one of the videos, you take the actual quizzes, you do the quiz labs hands on, you sit down and actually watch the interview scenarios. It's a huge help. Even being in IT since 2007, it was a huge help. There were some things that I either was hokey bokey, not really familiar with or didn't care about or just never spent the time actually learning IPv6. Uh, subnetting. I had learned subnetting years ago and forgot all about it. And you get so used to some of the calculators online, you forget that stuff. The digital dark arcs, that whole security course was amazing. And everything associated with that learning process, <laughs> it was just really, really surprising. So I wish they had a course like the Google IT support professional course. When I first came to IT, I left the Navy as basically an EMT. And when I first came out of the Navy, I was looking for EMT jobs and I kept getting the song and dance of, well, you need to go to school out here. Um, if you want to be a paramedic, you have to go uh, to college again. I had already had a bachelor's degree in IT. So I said, you know what, let me let me try to find an IT job. And then I jumped into the help desk and it, it, was, it was tough. It was very challenging. All of the fundamentals that this course covers, the hands on that they go over. I never experienced that when I first came into IT. Anyone that changes from a different career into IT, if you, I don't care what other career it is, if you're not in IT, you haven't learned the fundamentals. Let me tell you something. Even things in college weren't covered in some of the fundamentals of this course. I was actually really surprised. So <laughs> I went through the whole course. So the whole course consists of technical support fundamentals, bits and bytes of networking. Take this for a joke if you want to. You'll, you, you'll learn your lesson if you don't quit. System administration, IT services, operating systems, and you, you know what? There's quite a few commands that in Linux and Windows, even I had never even used. And I found some that were actually inside the program. It was actually really, really good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And IT security, defense against the digital dark arts. Let me tell you something. There was a lot of topics covered in here that is not something that you generally come in contact with day to day. And it's super helpful. So do I think that this course is beneficial, this certificate? It is absolutely beneficial. And if you're just coming into IT brand new, 
you know nothing about IT, you start from the ground. But let me tell you something. It takes a lot of grit, even me working in IT. And I started getting into the course at night and on the weekends. And because of the nature of how I am, and this is what IT will do to you, it makes you so determined to finish something. And if you have that kind of determination just to finish something, even if you just started it, if you have that kind of mentality that you're not going to give up, you're going to finish something no matter what it is, IT is for you. <clears throat> if you give up easy, if you, you quit uh, just because something's a little tough or you have some challenges around you, whether they're kids or family or, or anything that's going on in life, it, there's always something in life. If you can make the excuse for yourself to push yourself Everyone has boundaries, but you got to push past those boundaries. You have to push past your own limitations to accomplish what you want to do. And I thought that I primarily liked VMware technologies and, and cloud. Well, actually, I found out how much I actually really do like operating systems and everything associated with automating operating systems and cloud. So now my focus is a little bit more directed and towards and align with what I want. <clears throat> this course helped me realize that. And I've been working in IT since 2007. I went from help desk on up to a, a VMware sysadmin to a IT manager up to an IT director. And let me tell you something, a lot of these fundamentals, I can grab quite a few people that could not explain to me some of these fundamentals at the IT director level. Um, at the IT manager level, some some even in a senior sysadmin level, senior system engineer level. I'm telling you, the course is really, really good. So it's a very good fundamental basis. So the course itself, as you can see here, I finished the course. I got the certificate. So the way the course is broken down, and this, this is where it actually matters. Getting certifications is everything in IT. A college degree will help, but that'll get you past the HR people. That'll get you uh, higher up in the pile of a stack of papers on somebody's desk that you got a degree. But your IT certifications, your soft skills, your ability to communicate and talk to people and just work through and resolve problems will take you a lot further. There's a lot of things I took in college I can't even remember, to be honest with you. I took visual basic in college. I, I couldn't tell you what I did back then. If I say if you had a gun to the side of my head, I just I forgot all of that stuff. So. What this course does and why I think it deserves maximum respect is because it goes over the content. The videos are very simplistic. They're very easy to understand. They have role playing where they have some scenarios where they go through the interview process of what you're expected to uh, be able to explain during an interview. Role playing is a, is a critical thing to understand what the behavioral part of the interview the technical workflow of ex explaining a problem and identifying how you're going to actually fix a problem. That's something that's just worth its weight in gold because I can't even tell you the interviews where I got tripped up trying to explain things or you, you're nervous and it's, it's not easy. So the fact that they even go over that gives you an idea of what to expect. If I would have had that years ago, I could have been much further, even though career-wise, I did pretty well. I mean, if you if you take a look at my LinkedIn uh, for yourself, you you see I've I've got a few certifications. I've been around IT for a little while, and I was in the Navy, et cetera. So pages loading all slow. So I'm an AWS cloud certified. I'm an AWS certified solutions architect. Uh, in addition to you know, MCSE. CCNA, et cetera, a couple different things, VMware, which expired. I still need to update that. My CCNA expired. I need to update that. So <clears throat> that's what happens in IT sometimes. You just have to kind of keep up to date with everything. But as far as this course is concerned, the basics that it goes through with role playing, with the course content, with the uh, tests, with quick labs, Quick Labs is a hands-on aspect of the course where you actually do hands-on exercises. You're logging into the Linux console. You're logging into the Windows console in Quick Labs. You're actually performing some operations. It's not just theoretical. It's not just a video. You're actually doing the actual work. You cannot go to the next step of some of the courses 
without completing those phases, without going onto the command line and running some commands. As you can see, I'm on a Chromebook. So they said, well, how are you working on the Chromebook? Well, Chromebook has now, uh, depending on the model that you buy, has a Linux container. So as you can see, it's running Debian Buster natively. So I did a lot of my Linux, well, all of my Linux stuff here. And there's quite a few things that I picked up and I learned. So do not listen to someone that says, don't take this course, go focus on the certification because there's things covered in this Google IT Support Professional Certificate that you're not going to get just studying for a certification exam. I've got a few certifications. Let me tell you something. You're, you're studying that stuff on your own. You may have some practice tests. You may have some practice guides. But for the most part, if you're doing the cloud stuff, you're doing a lot of hands on, but you don't get the role play of how an interview is going to actually look. Now, when you finish the course, you get a couple of different benefits. You have something called big interview that comes at the end. They have a number of different companies that they send your resume to at the end of the course. Once you finish the course out, you have the ability to uh, post your certification on LinkedIn with through Creedly and you get a chance to see how some resumes look. So it's not just taking a class. It's also how to help you to be successful in moving forward and getting a job in your career. So you start off as an IT support professional, systems administrator, junior systems administrator, whatever level, and then you pretty much go from there. Now, a person like myself who's been in IT for a long time, now I get a chance to look at things a little bit different. And I get a chance to kind of assess, man, the way I was doing this may not be the path that I really want. I'm not happy doing this. Maybe I need to look at doing something a little bit different. And it helped with that process. And, and that's where this program actually is really key. So just, just keep that in mind. So once you finish the course, don't give up. It's going to, you know, it took me about two months to do the course. Like I said, I've been in IT since 2007. I've worked on VMware, Linux, Windows, uh, a number of different technologies, websites, web tiers. But the fundamentals that are covered here, to be honest, some of them I either forgot, never learned, or didn't know, to be 100% honest with you. And that's a good thing, because if you're an arrogant person, and if I'm not talking to you IT people, if you're arrogant about what you think you know, and you're pompous and proud about that, and then you go up to somebody who actually really does know, you make yourself look like a fool. Now, for the people that are really trying to learn, those are the ones that actually really do excel in IT. And as long as you're humble and you're willing to really step back and, and start all over again, and I kind of took that approach with this program, I said, let me step back, start from scratch, like I don't know anything, and really try to consume this information and catch what is, you know works for me and what doesn't. Now, obviously, there were some parts of the courses that I knew backwards and forwards, but I still went through the classes anyway. Be and, and come to find out almost every single time there was a topic covered that I either hadn't thought about in that way or was something new, a new idea, or it was different from what I had always thought. So it was a huge benefit throughout. So $49 a month. If anyone says, I can't pay that, um, I can't afford that. Well, I'm pretty sure that they have scholarships or something like that on Coursera. But this is the thing. If you want to go out to dinner or you want to go buy something, you figure out how to hustle up that money. So figure out how to hustle up that money to pay the fees for the cost for something that's going to benefit your life for the rest of your life. And, and that's that's the way I think. <laughs> don't let no one tell you that you can't do it. I don't care who you are, what you've been through or what your situation is. Push yourself to try to do something that many other people have not done is sit down and learn a topic that is tough. That is a little bit rigorous. Well, not a little bit. Some some parts of the course is actually hard and be determined to finish. That's how IT is. That's what this career is about. And it opens up a lot of different doors. Like I said, it's helped me. And 
<laughs> I'm really surprised. I really am. So do not listen to anyone on YouTube or social media or anywhere else saying, just go get a certification. Don't worry about this program. It's not really going to help you. It will absolutely help you because it covers the fundamentals. It covers the basics of IT support, the basics of networking, the basics of operating systems, a lot of the basics of what it means to be an IT professional, how to talk to people, how to interact with them, how to deal with general customer support. A lot of the day to day processes associated with security, Wi Fi, patch management, logging, building a security lifestyle inside of a business where it, it's, it's not an afterthought, it's a pre thought and it's a plan. So take it serious, take the opportunity, and go for it. Don't listen to anybody that is negative about this support program i really believe if you're coming from any other part of the uh, of a career and you're going into it take this certificate i don't care if you just got your solutions architect aws restart make sure that you go through the basics and the fundamentals so that you can be successful in your career. If you're coming from a completely different career, whether you're coming from a medical background or you're coming from a construction background, manufacturing, a restaurant, whatever you are coming from. I've worked in construction. I've worked in a restaurant cooking inside of a kitchen. I've, I've been in the military and uh, working as a combat medic, as a, as a hospital corpsman. And let me tell you something, if you're ready and willing and able to change your career, to go into a new path, sit down and take this course. And if you're an IT person and you're new to the field or you're changing from say VMware or general help desk support and you're trying to move up, take the course, it can help you. It can, it can give you a lot of fundamentals that you may not know. And some people out of pride, they don't wanna say what they don't know. They don't wanna admit that they don't know something. Let me tell you something, in IT, no one knows everything. I don't care who you are. And if you have that humility, you can really learn. So please do yourself a favor, take the course. If you're interested in taking the course, benefit your career, help yourself, get your IT support, uh, Google IT support professional certificate, then go on and get into the cloud. The cloud is going to continue to grow and expand and become this huge beast of a dragon uh, fighting through every single company, whether it's Amazon Web Services, which today is king of the hill, Azure, Microsoft Azure, which is a contender underneath AWS, or Google Cloud Platform, which is starting to rocket up the uh, ladder as far as cloud is concerned. And they tend to be king when it comes down to machine learning, with machine learning and artificial intelligence. So those three platforms are the top three platforms in the world right now. Now they have Alibaba, they have Google Oracle Cloud, but honestly, I haven't really seen it too many places. Um, and if you go on Indeed or Glassdoor.com or Google Jobs, you really don't see anything other than AWS, Solutions Architect or uh, Cloud Engineer, Azure or Google Cloud Platform. So focus on those three, benefit your career, benefit your life, push yourself past your limits and your boundaries. And when you feel like you're going to quit and you're going to drop, the kids are bothering you, making noise, your significant other, whether it's a wife or a husband or whoever it is, they're driving you nuts up the wall. Go someplace where you can study in peace, focus and get it done. Benefit your life, help yourself, do everything that you can. All right. Don't listen to nobody being negative. Listen to somebody who's been doing it and listen to people that know what they're doing. Have a good night.